Hey folks, Lemonade here, and today I'll be bringing you through a look of our latest release here at Ponage, the Gen 2 Stormbreaker in the Platinum colorway. Quick footnote, the changes shown today will also be available on our black colorway soon, and this new platform will be the bed for all of our other upcoming releases as well. Now I'll start off with the unboxing, not much has changed here, so I'll be pretty brief. You receive an extra pair of skates, our custom molded ultra grip tape, a set of universal grip tape where you can place these wherever you want, our user manual, and of course our USB-C cable and the platinum pyramid dongle. And lastly, the keychain screwdriver that you'll be able to use to adjust your sensor at the bottom. With that out of the way, let's focus back on the mouse itself. On the outside, it looks identical, well, because it pretty much is you won't visually see any changes here all the changes on the gen 2 are on the inside now i do want to clarify something here we needed to update the pcb structure itself to support all these new changes now and for all of our future mice so this is not a firmware update that can be applied to gen 1 mice the gen 2 platform will support 8K polling rate versus the current 4K standard on our previous mice. And not only does it do 8K wirelessly, but also in wired mode. So no matter how you use the mouse, you'll get full performance benefits. 8K polling is the top of the line in performance games for modern mice with as close to zero millisecond click latency as we have seen yet and ultra low motion latency for the smoothest tracking possible. And with the PCB changes, we did some additional work on the underlying firmware, and that has also improved the battery efficiency by almost double. Obviously, that's very important across the board, but especially so when you are using 8K polling rate. On top of all this, we now have official compatibility for the Stormbreaker Gen 2 to function with our new web-based application. This was first introduced on the Zenblade keyboard, and now gamers will have easy access to both peripherals in one app. And I will do a full walkthrough on that in just a moment. And lastly, we brought over the switches that were so loved on our BLG Valorant edition. The Gen 2 version now features optical Omrons for mouse one and mouse two, and those Omron blue dot mechanicals for the side buttons. All of these switches provide users to lighter, quieter clicks and easier spamming. And of course, all the previous structural improvements that we introduced on the BLG are carried over to the Gen 2. Quick note before we continue on to the web app, please remove the blue film on your skates. They should look white just like that before use. All right, now we're in the Ponage Hub web application. The URL is ponage.com forward slash pages forward slash drivers dash hub. Of course, if you don't remember that, you can head to our main website and scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and just hit the software drivers downloads and you'll be brought over to the link there. Now back on the main page here, of course, we'll have the Zenblade 65 on the left and the Gen 2 Stormbreaker on the right. If you wanna try out a demo of our software just to see how it functions, you can click here. But if you have a Gen 2 Stormbreaker, just click connect to device. Now a pop-up box will appear here. You probably don't see it on this screen recording, but it's a web browser pop-up. Just hit the name of the Stormbreaker and hit the connect button. Now we're on the main page for the Stormbreaker V2 and you'll see both sides of the Stormbreaker and this little dynamic animation. And down here is where you can swap to your preferred polling rate up to 8,000 Hertz. And again, in wired mode, you have access to all of these polling rates up to 8,000. Down here is quick access to cycle between DPIs, depending on what you have set. You can also swap between the polling rates here if you choose. You have your battery indication down here and your sleep timer goes from 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, and now custom, so you can set to whatever you choose. You have your profile selection here, so you can swap between various profiles if you play a couple different games or maybe you want a work profile. And we'll move over to the DPI tab where we can fine tune some settings. First, we'll have the largest section here, which is your DPI adjustment. You can set up to five individual DPIs you can cycle between. Of course, if you only use one and you stick to one, you can just delete these with ease or add them back just like so. You can swap any value here, change the colors, and even have independent Y variable. 
Now down here we have motion sync and you can easily disable and enable that. Now what motion sync does is it smooths out your motion latency by syncing it with your display refresh rate and the PC. This is helpful in tracking heavy games like Overwatch 2 or the finals for example, but if you play games like CS2 or Valorant where click timing is much more important, then I'd advise just leave this feature off. Now moving over to LOD or lift off distance, this just allows you to set a value where the mouse can be lifted and still track the surface. You can go as high as two millimeters or now as low as 0.7 millimeters. And lastly, we'll come over to the button mapping tab. As you can see, it says it's coming soon. So when this is officially available, you'll be able to remap your buttons on the Stormbreaker. And that concludes our overview of the Gen 2 Stormbreaker. If you have any further questions, please reply in the comments below or reach out to our customer support team at support at ponage.com or you can find me in our community discord link down below. Again, my name is Lemonade and we will catch you on the next Fresh Squeeze video.